Donald. I'm here with Warren Nub, Scott's Dell League coordinator. Um, we're halfway through the season. It's it's been crazy. Like we have what seven seven teams with double two three, two, three two, wins. Two, yeah. three wins yeah. already, right? Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, there's been so many surprises. We got Canoe just lost three straight games already. Who would have saw that coming? Preseason Rick, number one. Yeah. Preseason number one losing Rick three number in a row. two in national. Lost three straight. Um, Splash Brothers lost again tonight. Lost again tonight. Um, what do you think so far? Like the season. Right? So you know what? Beginning of the season we had Pink News up top, and like you said, Splash Brothers. Now they lost. It's it's this is what we call parity. Every team's moving up. Team the beats moved up. Crossover. Now that was a team that actually started off with a loss. Now they've won I think two two out of three. They're a team. They're a team to watch out for. I think they're going to be really deadly uh, later on the season. Um, I think Splash Brothers is still going to be good. They had some tough, tough last couple games, and Pink Canoes they got to get together. But I think it's 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 it's, it's a wild ride, man. That's yeah. all I got to say. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the playoffs? Who do you think's going to go all the way? Ooh, man, there's so much parity here. I'm thinking. I mean, since we're combining your playoffs, do you think the Scottsdale team's going to win it all, or do you think a Tempe team's going to take it? Man, that's a good question, man. I still like the Splash Brothers. I think they just have a, a little bit of hiccups. Crossovers impress me a lot. I think now with Fred, Brandon, uh, Bjorn's good. You know, the big men, Dave and LaBelle. Those, that's, a, that's a tough match right there. I kind of like them going a little deeper in the playoffs. Okay. Um, who, who's your first half MVP so far? Scott Stone. You know, Nick's always going to be the, the top pick because he's scoring. He's scoring he buckets. Seven points tonight, by the way. That sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. My man Brandon Walker, I like him. Because ever since they brought him in, he missed the first game for crossover. They lost that game. Yeah. But bringing him on board, I think this helped out solidify kind of the kind of the game a little bit. Fred, buckets. Fred's a free. Uh, so far, that's who I would just say right now. I'll come ahead. Pillsbury B boys just lost Michael Bazookas for the rest of the season. How do you think they're gonna finish out? And that's why one of the reasons why I didn't mention him because Michael Bazookas was amazing. That Bazooka mania just killed him. Uh, without him, I just don't see the flash. I don't see the Capri just stepping it up anymore. Okay, um, you got any final thoughts for the second half? What are you, what are you, what are you excited to see? I'm, ex I'm just excited to see the second half because just because the first half was so exciting, you got the top teams losing with some of the bottom teams unknowns coming up, creeping up. It's going to be a wild ride, man. It's going to be un unpredictable. So, Cool. Well, we'll see you guys back here in a few weeks. Uh, good luck to the rest of the teams, and we'll see you guys all in the week eight for, the, for, for playoffs. playoffs. All right. See you guys later.